My name is Tomi Sakakoki, 28 years old. I'm at a party celebrating the anniversary of the company I work at. Wow, nice party. Yeah, well, the boss does love parties. He keeps pouring money into things like this. Who are the women serving food? The hotel staff? They're called banquet companions. Or maybe I should call them party companions? I see. I started working after graduating from university at a different company. Three years later, I got a job, and three years just blinked past again. Oh, sorry. I need to go to the bathroom. Right. Tomisaka? Huh? Oh my, it really is you. Long time no see. Oh, sorry. Have we met? What? You don't remember. I'm Kazooie. Kazooie Arana. You mean... that Kazooie? You finally remember now? I remember. This annoying personality. Miss Kazooie and I are the same age, and we went to university together. And we also worked part-time together. I saw her last eight years ago. We worked at that restaurant. Oh my god. The customers tonight are so annoying. One of them needs more ketchup. Put some on, will you? Oh, sure. You must be happy tonight. You're with Miss Motoki. While I'm working my butt off out there. Huh? I'm not happy. Wait, that customer got mad at me because you didn't put enough on. That's why I hate useless people. Ugh, I want to quit so bad. I'm truly sorry. Just quit already. But people like her say they want to quit, but never do. Mr. Tomisaka, are you alright? Oh, of course! She always picks on me like this. I'm used to it. That's very nice of you. I'm impressed. Miss Motoki. At the time, Kazooie often picked on me or made fun of me, so I hated working at the place, but there was a reason I couldn't quit. Miss Motoki, the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen, was working with me. Miss Motoki Naomi. Same age as me, and she works here full time. Oh, Mr. Tomisaka. Your hands are beat up. Are you putting on hand cream after work? Uh, no, ma'am. You should. What if they get worse? Okay, but I don't know what kind I should get. Do you have any recommendations? Why don't you try the one I always use? That's a lifesaver! And I get to use the same one as her? Uh, thanks. She's very patient with me and is a very positive person. And she's super cute. I promised myself I'd tell her how I felt one day. That day came one day after work. Nice work today. Here, it's a gift. Hand cream? Yeah, remember? I told you I'd tell you what kind I used after work, but I was too busy I forgot. Anyway, here's the one I always use. Whoa! Thanks a bunch! Oh, I'm so happy! You sure it won't be wasted on me? You should use it. Promise? Oh, man! I like her so much! I need to tell her! Miss Motoki? Yes? I like you. Huh? Will you go out with me? Yeah, sure. Really? You would? Yeah, I actually liked you too. Seriously? Yes! You're getting too excited. This is how I started dating Miss Motoki, but... Hey, I heard you're dating Miss Motoki. Yeah, so? She's the same age as us, right? She started working there after she graduated high school, right? Full time, even. Did you feel sorry for her being poor? What? It's true, she is really cute. It must be sad she has to use the money she earned on stuff she doesn't want. Rent, phone bill, electricity, etc, etc. It's strange that we live in completely different worlds even though we're in the same age and live in the same city. I didn't do it because I felt sorry for her. I thought she was a great person and worked hard at her job, that's why. Oh, really? <laughs> I'd get bored and throw her away like trash. I won't! Kazooie, if you say that to her face, I'll make you regret it. So scary. Timber.
I'll protect Naomi, I swear. This guy's we picked on me a lot. Picking on Naomi was what really got on my nerves. Kazui started job hunting and quit her part-time job to do so. Till we had some peace of quiet for one. I'm still mad at her for being a jerk to Naomi. I didn't think I'd ever see her again. Wow, you're working at this company? It's a good one, right? Oh, yeah. Are you really working? I'm worried. <laughs> I don't need you to worry about me. I'm working just fine. That's so. Well, you may work, but I bet you're not all that popular. I'm not aiming to be popular. Wow, you're being cold. It's been so long since we last saw each other. Anyway, I need to get back to work, Chio. Thank God she left. Huh? Mr. Tomisaka, are you alright? You look tired. <laughs> it's nothing. I unluckily met Kazui again, but I guess we'll part ways as soon as this party's over. That's what I thought, but the next day I got a call by an unknown number several times. So I decided to call them back after work and... Hello? You called me? Oh, Tomisaka! You finally called me back! Huh? Who is this? You forgot again? It's Kazui. Kazui Arana? Why can't you remember? Yeah? Kazui? How do you even know my number? A friend from school told me. Who the hell would give her my phone number? And what do you want? They wanted you for a job, I hear? That's impressive! And you became a manager at 27? They've never seen that before, apparently. Awesome! Who did you hear that from? I told one of the higher-ups that I knew you since university, and he told me lots of stuff. Seriously? Hey, do you want to go out sometime? I really want to hear more. Sorry, I can't. But she kept calling and calling. So I blocked her. But... Hey, Tomisaka! Oh, boss. Hello, sir. Tomisaka, I heard you're blocking your girlfriend. Is that true? Huh? Where did you hear that from? Your girlfriend was at the party the other night. You two look happy. What went wrong? You're still young. You should be able to fix this without blocking her, right? I was so surprised words didn't come out of my mouth. She apparently convinced my boss that she was my girlfriend at the party. She told him that I had blocked her and called him directly to tell him. At this point, I'm genuinely scared. I did my best to tell him that she wasn't my girlfriend. And he believed me. I was pooped after that. I'm so tired. She's trying to get cozy with me now that she found out I work at a good company. If so, the way she's doing it is terrifying. Oh no. Is it Kazui? Masato? What could he want? Yo, Koki! How's it hanging? Uh, yeah. Great. The caller is someone I was in the same club with back in university, Masato. Wow, that's reassuring. Anyway, we're thinking about reuniting the gang. What do you think? Really? The acapella club? Of course, I want to go. Right. I'll tell them you're coming. I'll give you the details later. Great. I get to see that gang again? <laughs> that sounds awesome. I belong to this acapella club back in university. I couldn't participate much because I also had to work, but every time I went, I had a blast, and I loved being there. I was so exhausted with Kazui and all, but this gave me strength. And one month later, we reunited. Why the hell is Kazui here? We went to the same university, but she wasn't part of the gang. Hey, Koki! Masato! Why is Kazui here? She heard we were going to reunite. She wanted to see you. Are you two in that kind of relationship? No, 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 no. Hey, Tomisaka, I don't get why you blocked me, even if you were busy. Kazui, um, can you stop calling me? You're creeping me out. Stop spreading rumors, too. What? Why are you getting mad at me? I just wanted to see you again. I was just joking when I told them I was your girlfriend. Yeah, that's what's creeping me out. Quit it. What? Why? I was just being friendly. You're fine with being alone for the rest of your life? I don't need your compassion. Besides, I'm planning on getting married sometime. Huh? 
I'm getting married to Naomi soon. Pet Naomi, you guys were still together? Why would you still be dating a high school graduate? It doesn't matter that she's a high school graduate. She's already co-manager of the restaurant. You need to work extremely hard to be in that position at such a young age. She worked hard and it paid off. Naomi has a good life. And what about you? Huh? I heard from a little bird that you can't keep a job since graduating university. You've quit so many times that no one wants to hire you anymore. So you started working part-time as a banquet companion just to pay the bills, right? You quit saying the job wasn't meant for you. Can you even imagine what Naomi's been through? I'm not interested in you. Not now, not ever. If you keep calling me, I'm calling the cops. Shut up! I wasn't that into you. Whoa, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Oh, well, we happened to meet about a month ago, and she just won't let go of me. Sorry you guys had to see that. Huh. Well, don't worry about it. That must have been rough. I'm sorry I invited her here. She was worried because she couldn't keep a job. She was desperate to find a husband. I guess she just locked on to you. Uh, so that's what she was up to. But I think it's better to cut the leech off when you have your friends to support you. I guess it was right of Misato to invite her. Thanks, you guys. It's true that it was easier to tell her to piss off with my friends here to help me. I don't know what she would have done had it been just the two of us. I think she finally gave up on me. Oh, I'm so happy. Yo, what's up? Weren't you going to hang out with the old gang? I wanted to see your face suddenly. Oh, you're the best, Naomi. What's going on? What happened? You want to know? I'll tell you the story of what I've experienced this past month. What? I can understand that it's hard to work, especially when the work's extremely stressful. And I couldn't feel sorry for Kazui since she made fun of the person who's been working her butt off since graduating high school. What's important is how she worked. That's what I think. And no matter what position you're in, making fun of a person who's just working hard is unforgivable. And I think I was able to see how awesome Naomi was because of Kazui. I want to keep her happy. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.